All right, so now let me just explain how you can pull these chords from different progressions together. Um, so if I take that first progression, that basic one, and then I take the second progression, the extended one, remember the, the basic one is... I'm not going to play the bass line that's here, just, just so that I, I don't have to worry about reading it uh, note for note. I'm just going to play a bass line. Pay attention to the chords over here on the right hand. So it's G minor 7 to C minor 7, G minor, G minor again, and then C minor. Right? So now let's say that I wanted to change that. I'm like, eh, I don't like that G minor in the fourth measure. So what I can do is... And then I go to C minor, and then guess what? Everything else can stay exactly the same. I don't have to use any of those other chords from uh, that other progression. Now maybe this time through, I keep the G for the whole two measures, so measure three and four, I just stay at G, and then back to C, G, But I want to do that other turnaround. Okay. So you see, I can take these little snippets and I can uh, bring them into other progressions. Now, this is a great way of being able to create a long blues song. So you'd start with one progression, then you go to the next progression, but then you start to mingle some of the progressions together, so like I just did. So maybe you start with the basic one, then you go to the extended one. But then maybe the third time through, you do the basic one again, but you, um, you, uh, you uh, uh, add in the turnaround in the last two measures, all right? You don't do that uh, trick on measure four there with the D minor seven and the G seven. You leave that alone. You just leave it as G minor seven. However, in the last two measures, you do the turnaround. And then, you know, as we learn some other uh, progressions as well, you start to bring those in. So now you have all of these different combinations, right? That's the foundation. That's your progression foundation. On top of that, that's where you start adding in your licks and whatnot. And I am going to do a lesson on creating blues songs. So I wanted to get to this first, though, so that we could do the, uh, the minor blues. All right? So now that we have major and we'll have minor down in this lesson, in a future lesson, I will talk about how to combine these together and create songs. But for right now, you can start trying to mess around with that and creating your own progressions, because that's going to be the first step is creating your own progressions. All right, I'll see you in the next chapter.